quick little tip, um, something that I like to do, especially to try to get different sounds out of my drums. Now, what I mean by that is, so when you're hitting a snare drum, obviously, we're pretty, we're pretty limited to kind of one sound, um, but we talk about how do we, how do we kind of stifle drums or make them sound a little bit different. The first thing that I kind of like to do is, if you guys have these, which you should, keep your spare used drum heads, okay? Hang on to them because you, you never know what you can use them for. For this instance, you know, obviously it's perfect. So what I do is I take, you know, maybe an old snare head that I had, old whatever type of head it is, it could be coated clear, and and I'll put it over my snare drum if I want to get a different snare sound. So my snare, the way it sounds right now, okay, sounds great. But if I want to have more than one snare sound, you know, putting this on, putting it on upside down, you know, obviously you can't set it on like this because it's just going to slide all over the place. So you just invert it and it sits right into the grooves and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so it kind of wettens up the sound. Okay, now if I didn't have that on there. Okay, so again, just something like that totally changes the, the, the sound of your snare. The other thing I do is if I have, if you have smaller cymbals, I know a lot of you guys don't, it's just, it's another thing. It's just like industrial sound. Okay, just weird, funky, trashy sounds. You know, it's all about creating something. Come up with your own ideas. Um, the other thing you can use is a wallet. That's pretty popular. Again, it'll kind of, with the weight of a wallet or something equivalent to it, it just puts a lot of pressure on the head. So now it doesn't, it just doesn't ring. There's no resonance. I mean, there is a resonance, but it's just, it literally just cuts the drum off. two, three, throw a beach towel on it. It'll really sound, it just deadens the sound. The cool thing about having these types of things at your disposal is it makes you play differently, okay? I'm not gonna play the same way on with a sound like this that I might typically play with a sound like this, okay? It just gives it a different feel. Now, don't just stop on your snare drum. Go up to your toms. Okay, so for instance, my rack tom. If I want to give it a thuddier sound or just like a guh sound, I might drape one of these over here. Okay, remember, there's no right or wrong way to do this. So with the towel on it, it just deadens it. A lot of uh, drummers and bands back, you know, in the earlier days in the 50s and 60s in recording studios, they use this method. Ringo Starr, he used a lot of this stuff on Beatles records, okay? Now my floor tom, without one. Now if I throw this on here, we'll give it a, we'll give it an extra one. Actually, no, we'll just keep this one on here for right now. So now it sounds like this. Like come together. Does that sound familiar? It should because he, this is what he used. It's not this. That just that didn't sound good to them so they would use you know some sort of muffling system and that just worked okay and it kind of stuck um the other thing too is you, you can do it with symbols i mean if you wanted to it it might be better for like practice symbols or things like that if you're not you know you don't want to make a lot of sound it'll it'll cut the overtones i mean i don't typically use it but hey who's what do i know um hi-hats same thing. Notice when I play it, and I actually have it draped over here, over the actual spot of the height where you're hitting, you're not going to get as loud as a chick sound or a, a stick sound on the hi-hat. Okay, so it's... Just changes it up just a little bit. It's all about, you know, creating and coming up with new different sounds. So check those ideas out, try it out, 
and see what you come up with. You'll play differently. And that's the idea is experiment, okay? There's no right or wrong way to do this kind of thing. It's all about finding sounds, okay? What, what sounds good to you? I mean, you might put, I've seen Benny Grab use like uh, a freaking mashed potato mixer and just like run it across a snare drum to get this weird sound. Or he uses like utensils from the kitchen. It's, I mean, is it hipster? Yeah, probably. But anyway, to get different sounds. All right, hope this works, guys. Check it out, try it. Uh, send in some videos if you want, questions, comments, that kind of thing. I'd like to see what you come up with and see what you think about it. All right, guys, take care.